and welcome to this tutorial on Python. Today we're going to be using PyInstaller, which is a way of separating your program that you've written into an executable format which no longer requires a Python platform to use. So what you do is you've really spent time writing your amazing program, you've then, and what PyInstaller does is it then basically separates it so that it can be run, the whole program can be run without the Python environment behind it. So I will no longer require uh, Spider or any other shell when I run this PyInstaller. So PyInstaller, it's um, operated from the command prompt, so we'll, we'll take it through step by step, but first we need a simple program to uh, show, show you, to give you an example. So what I'm going to do is create a simple message box using a toolkit called C types, which is traditionally used for error handling. However, it's got a great a function where you can create a message box in it. I had no idea until now, uh, well, until uh, about a week ago, when I wanted to create a message box without using tkinter. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, import the C types module or toolkit if I can write. Then we're going to create a function and define mbox with a title, text and style. And then what we're going to do is return. Now this is where we get lots a lot of dots going on. C types dot window. Let's uh, do that again. Window dot user thirty two dot message box w zero text title style. So I don't think we need this user 32. So let's get rid of that. And then let's create our message. So let's have it saying greetings. Let's keep it old school. And then let's have um, in the message it's saying hello from Python. Uh, that's quite boring. Let's put um, traditional hello world. Oh, no, that's not. Or, yeah, let's put hello world. Or hello from Python. Cannot decide what's going on. Okay. So that is now run. So if we run it now, ah, so we do need this user 32. Seems a bit random that. Anyway, so let's run it and notice you have hello from Python. So there we go. So it does work. So let us run it again. You get this hello from Python. So that's what should appear. So simple, one message box. Show how it's done. So let's save it. Right, now comes the tricky bit. So what we're going to do is open Anaconda Prompt. Notice you'll have uh, this screen here. And what we will firstly want to do is we've got to get it to this file here, to uh, the scripts folder. So you have to go step in a bit in order for it to work. So then we've got to change directory and then paste and then run it. So now we're, we're in the right location on our command prompt. And now what we've got to do is, I think this is where lots of people come unstuck, is we have to put our Python file, we have to find the Python file this relates to, and then put it in the scripts folder. So that's what we're gonna do. I located my file earlier on, and I've got to find, these are all the tutorials I've done, quite a few. So we're going to copy it 
and then we're going to paste it into this folder and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, type in pi installer and then and then run it. So it's analyzing the file and then this is all the process of converting it into a um, executable file. So now we've done it. We've converted it into executable file. So what we do then is we go back into the scripts folder and at the top, fingers crossed, here we have it. We have, oh that's part of it. This is, we go into the build and this is it. So let's um, copy this and let's go out and uh, let's paste it into here and then let's run it from the desktop run it here and that's oh uh, yeah that's because i chose the wrong one let's go back into the folder and let's go to dist so this is where you have a trick of tri tricky bit of trying to find the right one. Here we go. So it's this one here you need. Dist, copy and paste this. Let's get rid of that build we had earlier. Click on that, simple message. And there we go. It's run the program without using Python. And just to prove it, I'm going to shut down my shell environment, shut down that. This has, we've taken it out as you've seen, and let's run it again, just to prove that it doesn't require Python. So there we go, hello from Python. So that is it, that is using py installer and how to convert your .py file to a .exe file or an executable file. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Check out more of my tutorials on um, my YouTube channel and I've got plenty more on Python and subscribe if you like it. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.